Hey guys, Brianna Monique here and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be showing you guys this video today just because I actually brought some color to the channel. Well, not really color, like, not really color. I kind of did a look, a little bit of a look. <laughs> so I went ahead and used some new products in this tutorial and I just wanted to just show you guys how I liked it and they're bomb. <laughs> so if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys are subscribed and let me not keep talking. Let's just get into this video. All right, so the eyes are now done. Um, I kind of wanted to do like a little bit of fall look. You guys know I'm more into like the neutral colors, the browns and things like that. So I wanted to do that first. So let's get into this skin. I'm super excited because I'm trying some new products today. So let's get started. So my skin has been a little dry here lately. We all know this. I don't know what it is. It's the weather something. But I'm going to go in with this Juno Miracle Cream. If you guys watched my last video, I used this and oh, it really is so good. It really smooths out my skin and just helps with my skin looking so flawless. And it just really like gives you that blurring effect to the skin. Then I'm going to take some of this Marc Jacobs um, Do You Drops. I'm just going to apply that on the high points of my face. Just so we can get some glow going on. And I'm going to take this brush to just blend it in to my skin. And kind of take what's left on the brush as well and apply it to some other areas and then I'm going to of course take my pores be gone matte primer and I'm gonna apply that on my smile line areas and as well on my forehead a little bit up here because I got some fine lines up there and then I'm going to spray my face with this Claudel um, this is a smoothing glowing complexion spray really smooths out my skin like it look it makes my skin look flawless i like using this before applying my foundation and after my foundation gotta um where's my eyelash covers oh it just smells it smells so refreshing too oh my gosh so for foundation, I'm going to be using the new NYX Born to Glow Foundations. I actually saw Tierra Walker using this foundation on one of her latest videos. And when I tell you her skin looked so good and she said that it was pretty much a dupe of the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, which is a really good foundation that was like my go-to for a couple of, for a while. That's her go-to, that's like her favorite foundation. So I wanted to try it, plus it's super affordable. I think it's like $12.99 at Ulta. That's why I purchased mine. So I got two shades just because I really didn't know what shade would be perfect for me or match me the closest. So I got the shade Neutral Tan right here, and then I got the shade Caramel right here. So um, 
Caramel is the darker shade and, um, and neutral tan is the lighter shade. So let's go ahead and see if I was at least close with one of them. So this shade right here is caramel, the darker one. And then this is the lighter one, which is neutral tan. Now the neutral tan one seems to give me more of a red undertone. And this one's more of a yellow undertone. So I think I'm gonna go in with caramel to be honest which seems like might be my color because I feel like I'm more I don't know I feel like I'm kind of red undertone but at the same time I'm more of the yellow undertone as well so we just gonna see to be honest let me do a little yeah no the um lighter the darker one actually or no, neutral tan actually is a little too light for me, as you guys can see. So, I honestly think that caramel is my shade, to be honest. So, so I picked up the NYX sponge as well. Um, it's not as soft as the Beauty Blender. Um, this is pretty big. It is shaped like the Morphe. Um, it's kind of shaped like the Morphe sponge, but not really. It's a little bit more firm, so... I'm gonna use this to blend out and see how it blends the foundation in. So far, this coverage is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. This coverage is so good. This sponge actually isn't bad. I have to be careful because I already filled in my brows and I would, and I would definitely take it off. Wow, this foundation is so luminous. Wow. Okay, NYX, let me find out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm loving this foundation. Okay, okay. I don't wanna crease it or anything because um, this is a more of a dewy foundation. Loving it. So I wanna go for like everything dewy, I feel like. And, full coverage so I'm gonna go in with the Kevin Aquan concealer in the shade 8 and here I actually use the same concealer as well I've been had this concealer I just stopped using it but I loved how her makeup looked at the end so I was like let me just use the product she used so just go ahead and oh 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 that was a lot that was a lot right there so I'm gonna just go ahead and apply this on the face I feel like concealer is like one of my favorite steps when doing my makeup I don't know why I have to pack for Miami I leave for Miami on Friday and I'm excited because I just get to get away for a little bit and it's Miami I just hope it's not raining the whole time we're there it says it's supposed to so hopefully you know it switches up on us but yeah I'm excited so I need to like start packing because I'm such a procrastinator and I don't pack until it is literally time to go <laughs> so that's a lot of concealer on my forehead so um yeah my plan is to pack finish packing today I'm waiting for my girl Kylie to actually come over. We're supposed to be going to the pumpkin patch right up the street from my house, but it's already 5.30. It's probably gonna be like dark by the time she gets here, so I might not be able to get no picture. Um, so yeah, my house, I'm, I'm talking right now because I want this to like set a little bit, but I have so much clothes I have to go through y'all. Like my closet is a mess right now. Like I have clothes everywhere with clothes I don't, I don't want anymore, with clothes that don't fit me whatever the case may be. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with those clothes. I don't know if I'm gonna give them to the Goodwill, post them on like um, Depop or Poshmark, one of those. I'm not sure, but I gotta get rid of that stuff. Like I have to. And um, I just have a lot going on. Like Halloween, I'm going to Miami. Then right as soon as I get back from Miami, I am going, to, I have to get ready for a Halloween party. And then after that, I, after that are my birthday festivities like time is just going by so fast my birthday i believe is in exactly 15 days so pretty much two weeks so excited um i don't know if i want to go with the beauty blender or i think i'm going to go in with hmm 
let's see I think let me see how this works if I use this side it's just so big I think I'm gonna go in with this sponge to be honest I haven't used a beauty blender in so long you guys like I just wanted to kind of switch it up switch it up from what I normally do I had a vlog from when I went out the other night and oh my gosh I guess because there, you know I was at the skating rink and they were playing so many songs everything is like copyrighted and I'm like the video was already like 10 minutes and I'm like oh my gosh I've cut out so many parts so it's not copyrighted but everything is being copyrighted and I'm like how is this video gonna get approved it's not gonna be a video at this point so I don't know what to do I'm just giving it a break <laughs> and then go back once like my mind can put things together and oh, I'm just I was so annoyed because I was so excited to get that up for you guys and now I can't even get it up because it's copyrighted so whatever whatever so we need to go ahead and so I need to go ahead and cream contour this face because sis needs some color to the skin okay so I don't know if I want to go in with the Born This Way foundation in the shade Mocha to cream contour or I want to go in with this Juvia's Place um, foundation multi-purpose stick. So this is in the shade Venom, I believe it is. So I think I'm actually going to do this just because I can be more precise with it. This is what the stick looks like. This is the shade of it. So I think I'm going to try it. Hopefully it's not too red. I just like sticks because I feel like you can just be more precise with it and really get the areas that you want. So maybe so I think I'll try the foundation, um, the foundation next time. Okay, this shade is nice. And it blends out so nicely. This is supposed to be like more of the creamy, luminous foundation. I know their foundation, their squeeze one that I've reviewed on my channel was matte. And boy, was that stuff matte. <laughs> but it really was a good foundation. And it looks so good on the skin. So my skin definitely is very luminous, as you can see. But it is looking so flawless and healthy and just so nice so I need to go ahead and set my face you guys already know I'm going in with the Huda Beauty and banana bread make sure there's no creasing powder this bad boy and I feel like I'm gonna do a little bit extra powder just because I used so many dewy products like I'm not gonna bake but just want to make sure everything is nice and set into the skin so it doesn't go anywhere definitely have to get these smile lines and then I'm kind of just taking the sponge and setting all over the skin as well so everything can be set into place I'm gonna take my brush to make sure everything is smoothly into the skin as well I'm gonna go in with my fave powder contour shade from Fenty Beauty. I think I want to be a little more snatched. So I'm gonna go in with this Sephora palette, and this is the um medium palette and i'm gonna take that darkest shade in there called groundbreaking and that just kind of will darken it just a tad bit just because i feel like when i do eyeshadow it kind of makes my face look lighter even though i even though my foundation isn't light i don't know it's weird i don't know if it's just me or what but i also don't like to have too much of a bright under eye because then it's like 
to spray everything. I think I might contour my nose. Yeah. Just because I feel like it. And you want to make sure you are going all the way up to under your eyebrow bone. Because that really gives you the nice illusion of the contour as well. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to go back in with the Sephora palette. And I'm going to be taking those two blush shades right here. Give me a nice color. So I'm going to go ahead and really chisel out these cheeks. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Max Fix Plus first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Claudel Smoothing Glow Complexion Spray again. I just got my lashes wet. <laughs> they need to do that anyways. <laughs> So let this dry into my skin. I need to put some eyebrow gel on and you guys know I live by the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow gel. I really need to do my brows but I'm gonna wait until like Thursday so it can be super fresh in Miami. So I'm going to be taking this Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I'm going to be going in with the shade milk chocolate this shade right here and I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line if I can find the brush I'm going to use. Mm, this palette smells so good I'm living for this this eye right now it's super fallish I love it so I feel like I need something on the inner corner I think I'm gonna go in with the shade hmm fair hmm. yeah I think I'm gonna go no I think I'm gonna go in with the shade of bronze this sparkly shade right here and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner so I actually went in with the shade Primavera from the um, modern from the modern Renaissance palette and it's this shade right here and I went in with this shade because I felt like I wanted it to just brighten it up a little bit as well because I felt like that other shade kind of just I don't know I just needed a little brightness to this look <laughs> you guys want to know a secret about me that I really don't tell many people I don't know how to do a good wing I'm not good at wing liner I want to do wings so bad sometimes but at the same time I don't want to do wings because I have extensions and to get that off I know I'm gonna take off take out the majority of my lashes when I'm washing my face so I guess it's a good thing all right so I need to apply highlight I'm gonna spray my face with the Claudel again for highlight I'm gonna be taking the Sephora palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade first class this right here it's like a champagne color it kind of reminds me of the becca champagne pop highlighter i think that's why i love it so much because i used to love that highlight it just sits on the skin so nicely like butter like this palette is a must-have and some of you guys may think it's like expensive but i, th I think it's like 60 dollars. but for one you get a lot and you get so many different options in there so many different choices and they have a light medium and dark palette and this is the medium palette so whatever fits you, I am glam today, sweetie. I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX lip liner in the shade Light Brown. And then I'm going to take this lip gloss from Be Simone Beauty. This is like one of my favorite lip glosses. I love the formula and this is in the shade Detox. And it's just a pretty nude. I love this lip gloss. Like, it's the perfect nude and it's just so creamy it's so creamy the pigmentation is so good it's not sticky it's just perfect okay so i am going to kind of like comb out my hair my hair is dirty 
<laughs> oily i feel like i always come up here my hair needs to be done i never come up here with fresh hair my hair appointment is on thursday so i'm getting it done right before miami so it can be fresh for there so let me go and fix it up a little bit and i'll be all right guys, so this is the end of the tutorial. I'm so glad you guys cannot really see my bun because up close, it's really a messy bun, like a real messy bun. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed me reviewing these new products and I'm really glad how this look came out. I love when I actually kind of do a look that's something different I normally don't do and then I like shock myself and I'm like, wow, I look good. I kind of know what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> I be feeling like I don't know what I'm doing. It's not perfection, but Anyways, it's a cute little simple look. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did like this video. Leave me some comments down below for your girl. And leave me some nice comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't been subscribed or you aren't subscribed and you're new to my channel. So thank you guys. Love you guys so much for sticking with me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.